what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel uh, what we're doing today is on the touring again what we're going to do is uh we've got to adjust the bracket for the supercharger because the uh, crank pulley is really close to the uh, bracket it's like literally fucking millimeters worth of distance so i'm going to space it out a bit make sure there's plenty of clearance there and we're gonna take my chassis mount shifter out because i don't like it to be honest when i did the auto swap that's what i had but i've got all the bits now so i'm going back to a standard shifter uh, i'll show you what i mean on the pulley and then we'll get into the chassis mount all right bye So yeah, basically this crank pulley is really close to this bracket, as you can see. So we're just gonna, gonna space it out a little bit so we can get a bit more clearance, just so it's a bit happier. So you don't want the crank pulley in that because that is gonna mean bad news for your rod bearings. So yeah, we're just gonna space it out. I'll give you a shout when that's all done. Right, so basically what I've done, I've took these two nuts out here and I've spaced them out with a couple of washers. As you can see now, fucking hell, I can't. Yeah, as you can see now, we've got plenty of room there for the crank pulley to spin round. It's all adjusted up, belt's nice and tight, belt runs true. Bit of a nightmare doing that i won't lie but uh yeah success so next is the chassis mount shifter all right so basically this is what it looks like when it's mounted mine's a crs it's a nice shifter don't get me wrong um really nice and tight good for track use i'd say i have had the touring on track and it was it was lovely but this is a road car, so yeah, we don't like it anyway. So what, what your chassis mount wants to look like when it's mounted is you've got your four holes, make sure your shifter that is central to your hole. So you need to drill these four holes, sort of get it where you need it, mark it with a pen, on your four holes and then you can take this out and uh, just drill I think seven mil I think it was but we'll have a look when it's out and uh, I'll show you the underneath right so this is what you'll have obviously this is your chassis mount this is your selector rod so that goes that's what selects your gears that's held to that there with a horseshoe clip and then that end goes onto the gearbox end that also has a horseshoe clip now this goes into a rubber mount which you'll see up under your gearbox and then that goes on your gearbox with this clip here so that's how all that comes out Pop this clip out of that end, which is gearbox end. Pop that off the rod. Pop this off. One there, and that one's on your gearbox. And then that's it, it'll all come out. Slide this out of the bush. I'll show you the bush now. So there's your bush. I've just bought a polyurethane one. So the, the BMW shifters as we all know are sloppy as fuck you get one of these it eliminates most of it so because mine was an automatic mine didn't come with that so that's why i've bought that one that as you can see goes just behind your gearbox uh shifter thing so i don't know if you can uh get to uh, so this rod here that's your selector rod that's where one of your horseshoe clip goes and your brass bar and then your other one goes through there so when you fit the chassis mount let me get out when you fit the chassis mount it gets rid of this 
So all that goes. And you'll just have your chassis mount. That'll go through there. And then that will go to your selector board. Obviously drill your four holes, centralize it. Jobs are good and you'll be shifting like DSG. Right, I'll get my standard one back in and then I'll show you where I'm at. Right, now when you put your chassis mount in or your standard shifter back in, grease everything. EP2, multi-purpose grease. It's cheap and it's going to make them shifts buttery. So underneath here, So you've got your main, I can get the light, hold on. There you've got your main shifter rod goes, slide it in that end and then get it up. So this clip goes through here and then you twist it and it clips onto the gearbox. Now your selector rod, Put it in this end first, the gearbox end, because otherwise it's an absolute nightmare. Horseshoe clip on the back and slide it in there. Horseshoe clip on the back. Grease every single moving part and it'll be buttery. So right, we're just, uh, we're just button up the top. All right, so there we have standard shifter back in. It's just much nicer for daily duties obviously if you've got a track car the the short shifters are the way to go but this car is not about that so yeah gone back to standard i'll be getting a different gear knob because it doesn't really go with a female car i've got a full alpina kit for this so that'll all be going on soon so i'll probably get myself an alpina gear knob and an alpina steering wheel Right, I'm just going to swap over the centre console because my track car's got an uh, armrest and this hasn't. So I shall see you in a bit. Right, I'm back home now. Forgot to film an outro. Uh, yeah, so that's the end for that one. Hope it gives you a bit of an idea on how to fit a short shifter or a standard shifter. Um start mode is packed up on it so i've got to take the inlet back off and fit a new start motor to it and then we can get out and do some driving see what this supercharger is like apart from that everything's done on it i've got some bc coilovers coming for the track car so next video i won't bother doing like a start motor video for it so yeah next video will be uh, coil over installation uh, so yeah i'll see you soon thanks for watching thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one